National Construction Code 2019, we're going to cover what it means for residential homes. So Joseph, NCC 2019, what is currently in there th with regard to building air tightness? Well, it is a major breakthrough in terms of the building code in Australia, because in the past, the building code required the building to be reasonably sealed, but it never tells us how well, or it doesn't have a quantified method to assess whether your building is actually sufficiently sealed. It used to um, use a method called theme to satisfy, as long as you use the prescribed method and with all the prescribed component in your house, your house is expected to be comply with the building code. So right now, I mean, that hasn't really changed though. The air tightness testing that is now mentioned within the NCC 2019 is not a mandatory requirement. It's not yet a mandatory requirement, but with the latest change of the building code, it tells you how to measure the air leakage in your house. It provides an objective set of measurement, a scale, a benchmark, mm. so you can judge whether your house meets the intent of the building code or not. So what is the leakage rate and what does it actually mean? Like how airtight will it be? Will most buildings make it there? Well, it is a very difficult question to answer, John. To start with, the prescribed air leakage rate for residential building is 10 meter cube per hour per meter square at 50 pascal. This is a whole bunch of jargon in there, but basically what it means is how many meter cube of outside air is going to come into your house for every square meter of the surface area your house is interfacing to the ambient at roughly around 32 kilometer wind condition. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what that actually means is the majority of buildings will be able to, the majority of new buildings should be able to achieve that level of air leakage. Well, let's go back to the principle of deem to satisfy construction. Mm -hmm. If the builder follow the deem to satisfy construction and they do all their due diligence to fulfill all the requirement in there, you should be able to reach 10 meter cube per hour per meter square. However, having said that, from our experience going to real building, doing the test, observing, a lot of the area, the tray may missed it in sealing the junction around your window, around your door, in the junction between your wall to your ceiling, all the down light openings, they all add up which may result in not achieving the requirement. Potentially a place where they will definitely come undone, evaporative cooling, ducted heating, return connectivity to the ductwork. There are some big ticket items, low hanging fruit, that could potentially set these homes over 10 meter cubed per hour per meter square at 50 pascals. Well, it's not only those big ticket items, but also a lot of um, general construction diligence, vigilance. So if you are a new homeowner yourself, what would you recommend that homeowner do in regards to NCC 2019 and taking advantage of the requirement for a non-mandatory air tightness testing test? Well, to start with now, at least you have the option to perform the air leakage test. Mm -hmm. In the past, there's no way you can even question the builder if they done their job properly because they only need to have those components in your house and they are okay. But now at least you can perform a test to show them, yes, you put those components in, but apparently they're not performing as intent. Something can be as simple as they may have installed all the door seals and window seals 
in your home. But they are, all the hinges are not properly adjusted. So they are there, but they are not doing anything for you. So Joseph, we do air tightness testing. How can we add value to our customers that have just taken occupancy of their home? We can provide a number of services to help the homeowner to understand how well their building is performing, including air tightness test, air leakage test to the building envelope. We can do insulation consistency survey to help them to pick up problems in their insulations. Because traditionally, when you purchase a new house or commission a builder to construct your new home, you have a period of time you can go back to the builders and ask them to come back and fix issues that you identify as defects. Mm. However, as most building owner, proud new building owner, they are not from the industry. They may not have the necessary skill and knowledge to pick up things that cannot be seen with um, common normal layman eyes. Mm. So we can report on the issues that they can't see in order to get a much better product. Yep, well, get what you pay for. Yeah, beautiful.